guys, it's Dakota, and today we're going to be going over probably one of the coolest cards that I really want to play coming up in uh, Standard, and a lot of cards that I've seen spoiled are cards that I think would go really well in some kind of like Fires of Invention, like Shell, uh, which is obviously a deck that we've seen in Standard for quite a while, and kind of making splashes in some older formats like uh, Modern, but uh, this card is just something that does a lot. You know, I love modal spells and i like spells that um do a lot uh given the fact of how hard they are to cast and uh obviously with fires invention you're not going to be uh, really technically casting this card i mean you're going to be but you're not paying mana for it which uh when the spell is free makes it very good so without further ado um immaculate ultimatum is the jeskai ultimatum that got spoiled uh, just yesterday so this card for double blue double white and triple red target player gains five life immaculate ultimatum deals five damage to any target and then draw five cards now this is pretty crazy because this card does a lot um obviously a few things that make it better it is sorcery of course it's always better if it's an instant but even you know in the case of like uh, the fires of inventions deck obviously you don't care if things are instant speed because you can only really play at sorcery speed anyway um so uh target player gaining five life uh and dealing five damage to any target so essentially like this can go to the face it can take care of a planeswalker it can take care of a uh, bigger creature that your opponent maybe uh you might have uh, and then gaining five life usually isn't really uh, very relevant, but um, assuming that you're playing against like uh, mono red or some kind of aggressive deck, uh, Boros is something that I've seen people like talk about. Like you can just dome their biggest creature, take care of their planeswalker, or even hit them. Gain five life gives you a ton of tempo, and of course drawing five cards again in like those fires type decks. Just getting to draw five cards is amazing because obviously you're bound to draw into at least one spell, you know, maybe two, so then you can just, like, follow it up with either another ultimatum, you know, just imagine getting to cast back-to-back -back immaculate ultimatums, draw 10, deal 10, gain 10, that's a lot of value uh, just from this card, and it's uh, very doable. And of course, like alongside the other ultimatums that we have in the set, which I'm going to be going over and ranking those ones uh, when I get a chance after the full set is spoiled, just to kind of get a better idea. But Immaculate uh, Ultimatum, while I don't think is the most powerful uh, of the ultimatums that we've gotten to see, uh, there's still the Teamer one that needs to be spoiled. Uh, if there is one, it'd be kind of weird if there wasn't, but... Uh, seeing all the other ones like i don't think immaculate ultimatum is like the best one uh in all honesty like it does a lot of powerful things it does a lot of things that i like to do and a card that i definitely want to cast and i think is more consistently good rather than uh you know the low a uh high floor and like a low ceiling you know like what you get is what you get versus some of the other ultimatums that uh that we have spoiled that just are that I think have the potential to just be insane and you know, quite literally game ending. This one probably is going to end the game unless your opponent is at five or less life, or you need to gain that five life to uh, meet some kind of win the game if you have so much life claws. Uh, but of course, uh, just keeping in mind that this card does kind of give you a lot of tempo, like you essentially like you play this card and then just drawing five cards already you're up. Four more cards than uh well you're up five cards after casting this but, but like plus four uh with this um gaining five life gaining you some tempo against some of the aggro decks dealing five damage to any target again potentially could go to the face it could go to a giant creature uh planeswalker any kind of problematic like permanent that your opponent could be playing and to top it all off uh, again in like the ideal decks where you're playing this card you're more than likely just casting it for free anyway so uh immaculate ultimatum uh very very simple straightforward uh of all the other ultimatums uh so far I, keeping one of my like the obs on one's pretty sweet but um that's kind of like my thoughts and opinions i think this card will definitely see play in like the just guy fires decks because even if they can't cast it off of um off of fire zone invention they could still cast it with like their lands and everything which is something that we're going to be coming to also uh, in another video sometime down the line uh going into next week but uh yeah 
super sweet card definitely standard playable i don't know how many of the ultimatums we'll see play in some of the other formats because the other ultimatums never really saw play uh even though they're not nearly as pushed or as powerful as like these ones are in my opinion but nonetheless they're very good you know cruel ultimatum being the best one and that one not really seeing play in modern for at least a, a long long time so it'll be interesting to see if this can break out into this one and the other ultimatums can break out into like the other formats as well but that's going to do it for me in this video um an immaculate ultimatum again uh be on the lookout for any other Akoria spoiler videos I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be ranking some of the uh, cycles of cards that we got in the set, which ones I think are going to be most likely to do better in uh, just just in Magic in general across like multiple formats, what is it, what its impact, uh, how it's going to impact them, and things like that. So be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can actually find those videos uh, when they go up. Uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're enjoying spoiler season and things like that, go ahead and check out my other spoiler videos. I also have deck text for Modern Standard and Pioneer 2. And more more often than not, um, uploading a different deck like every week for those formats just to kind of uh, go in depth and talk about them with uh, some other new videos coming up uh, when we get through uh, spoiler season and everything. But uh, I appreciate you checking out the video. I hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see, hopefully see you in the next one.